Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's look is basically just going to be created with my MAC palette that I've put, put together myself. You can go into any MAC store and get a an empty palette and then the eyeshadow pans of your choice and put them in here. You can get any uh, palette, it doesn't have to be a MAC palette. I have this one that I got from Makeup Geek, it's the Z palette. This one's still empty, but same thing, has a magnet here and you can just put eyeshadows in here. Um, whatever eyeshadow pans of your choice. So, but today I'm gonna be using the MAC uh, palette that I've put together myself. Okay, so as far as the colors that I'm using today, it's going to be, as you can tell, a brownish, reddish, coppery, smoky look. And I've noticed that a lot of people, when they think of smoky eye, they think black and gray and silver, but you can actually create a smoky eye with pretty much any color combination of your choice. It doesn't have to be dark colors. You can use neutrals, you can use purples, you can use green, copper, brown, but you can always go back to the classic black and silver or black and gray, whatever you like. Personally, I only own one gray eyeshadow and it came in my uh, my Naked 3 palette and it's, it's the only reason I own that one is because one, it came in the palette, and two, it's the only gray shadow I really like. Um, with my skin tone, I've noticed that gray shadows make my skin look gray as well. So I haven't really found one other than the one in the Naked 3 palette that is flattering for my skin. So like I mentioned, it's gonna be a coppery, reddish look. So I'm gonna be using some shades from this area right here and really showing you how to use different techniques to get it more smoky, more blown out, and really get that professional blended out look. Can we be real for a minute? Your makeup is only gonna look as good as the brushes that you use to apply it. So if you are using those cheap little foam brushes like this, that typically come with your eyeshadow, um, the majority of brushes that, that come in your palette, they're not gonna be that good quality but seriously if you really 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 want your eyeshadow to look great and your face makeup to look great you need to do your research and find some good brushes personally i recommend sigma sigma has wonderful brushes they are to me they are up here as far as quality and the price is actually really really decent for how good the brushes are they have synthetic brushes, they have real goat hair brushes, and that's the majority of what I have is Sigma brushes. Um, I am not afraid to spend the money that is required to get Sigma brushes because I know that it's gonna be worth it in the end and they last forever. Um, also another really good brush is MAC. I'm gonna be using, um, I'm gonna be using a MAC brush in this tutorial and you'll see what it looks like. It is a goat hair brush. MAC brushes to me are a little on the pricey side, but they are really, really good. And if you don't want to wait for Sigma brushes to be shipped to you, because you have to get them online, I think they only have one store and it's in uh, the Mall of America in uh, Minnesota. So unless you live in that area, you're gonna have to buy them online. So if you don't wanna wait for them to come and you don't wanna pay for shipping, then um, MAC is a very comparable brand. I love MAC brushes. They're very high quality. Uh, they're just a little on the pricey side. So. If you want really good brushes, but you don't want to pay a higher price, one thing that you could do is go to Ulta. A really good brand of brushes that they have is Real Techniques and also Eco Tools. They both create a lot of really good brushes. So, Okay, now that I'm off my soapbox, I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial. Um, I'm going to be creating this look with um, my Sigma and MAC brushes, and like I said, using my MAC palette. And I'm going to start out with a full face of makeup and my eyes are gonna be primed out. The only thing I'm not gonna have is my eye makeup on and my lipstick. Here we go. So I've started off with priming my eyes in MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly. And this is basically just a skin toned eye primer. Anytime you're gonna be wearing a dramatic eye either eyeshadow or eyeliner, it's really important to wear an eye primer because it's gonna keep it from creasing and it's gonna help it stay much longer than it would otherwise. So an eye primer is really important. Uh, with the MAC Paint Pots, they're a little on the pricey side, but um, I, I think that the quality is, it, you really get your money's worth with it. So that's the reason I like those so much. So I'm gonna start out my look today using MAC Cork and it's a really pretty matte brown color. I'm gonna be going in with my Sigma E25 blending brush. It's just a goat hair brush. 
and I'm going to start out in the crease and I'm going to be using this as my transition color which is basically going to help blend all of the other colors together. I'm going to stay in my crease and I'm not going to go I'm not going to quite go out to the tip of my eyebrow because mine goes out kind of far just with my bone structure. So I'm going to go almost all the way out, start in the outer corner and go back and forth using windshield wiper type motions and circular motions. Back and forth, back and forth. And you don't need to get too much in the beginning. This is just starting out with our transition color. Now I'm going to be going in with MAC Antiqued. And this is a really pretty, dark, coppery, warm, shimmery color. I'm going to be using my MAC 239 brush. It's another goat hair brush. It's, uh, it's flat and it's basically really good for applying the color all over the lid. So I'm going to go in and pat that in all over my lid. Not going up to the crease, but not going into the crease. I'm basically just going to keep this on the top lid. Pat that on. The secret, well one of the secrets to a nice smoky eye is taking your time. This is not something that you can rush through. If you rush, you're going to get a color, you're going to accidentally <laughs> smudge your color into the wrong area and then you're going to have to put more and more product and so it's easier just to go ahead and take your time from the very beginning. Now me, my eyes are narrow. They're set closer to my nose and so what I like to do is I don't like to bring my eyeshadow 100% in to this very, very inner corner. I like to use a lighter shadow for that area. I like to keep it primarily on the outer portion of my eyelid just because if I put it all the way in toward my nose, it's going to bring my eyes in and make them look even narrower than they already are. So if you have wider set eyes or if you have eyes that are just right in the middle of your face, lucky you, you can put your eyeshadow wherever you feel like and it's going to look good. So, but with me, I have to be really careful not to bring it too far in. So you'll notice that I left that little area without any shadow on it for the time being. So going into the other eye, just going to do the same thing. Just going to pat my shadow on, taking my time, going up to the crease, but not into it. Color. This is just my lid color, so I'm not going to be extending this much farther than the outer corner of my eye. Just a little teeny tiny bit. Because like I said, with my eyes, they're narrow. I want them to appear like they're wider set. And so if I bring my eyeshadow a little bit further out, it helps give that illusion. And so right now, uh, the lines are kind of choppy. You'll notice that they're not very blended, but that's okay. We're still in the very beginning stage of, the, of this look. So we don't have to worry too much about blending for the time being as far as the color that we just applied. But I am going to go back in with my Sigma E25 with a little tiny bit more of cork on it. And I'm gonna go back into this, the same motions that I did in the beginning with cork, these windshield wiper motions, and blend these two colors together. And the more that this gets blended out, the higher it's gonna get towards your eyebrow. So you just be mindful of how high you want your eyeshadow to go. Next, I'm going to be going in with the color Embark by MAC, and it's a deep, rich, espresso-y color. I'm going to be using my Sigma E30 pencil brush. I'm going to use this to begin to dot this in my outer corner, or the outer V area of my eyelid. I'm going to do some small circular motions to start to blend that out. And then I'm going to start to take that into the crease. Again, just taking my time. I'm going to bring it down toward the lash line a little bit to make a V shape.
Now you can go in several times and add more product if you want. I feel it's really important to start with just a little bit of product at a time because it's easier to add more and more product and build up than it is to remove it once you get too much on there. So I always start with just a little teeny tiny bit and if I need more then I can dip my brush back in there. It's not a problem. Once again, doing small circular motions, just getting that in that outer corner and starting to make a V shape and bringing that into the crease. So now that I have that color on there, I'm going to go back in with my Sigma E25 with no additional product on it and blend that out. Oop, got something in my eye. No! Get out! Ugh, it's lost forever. Same thing with the other eye. Nice windshield wiper motions and then big circular motions to bring that color upwards. Getting rid of any harsh lines. Your eyeshadow, when you're done with this, should not have any noticeably cloudy area. You shouldn't be able to see where exactly the eyeshadow begins. It should just slowly fade, kind of like an ombre effect. It should slowly fade in from one color to the other. Okay, and now I'm going to go back in with my MAC 239 brush and use the color Antiqued once again. It's the same color I used on my lid, and I'm going to pat a little bit more on just to intensify it. Okay, now I'm going to be taking that same MAC 239 brush with a little bit of Antiqued on it and I'm going to be hitting my lower lash line with it and just slowly pat that on. This is all personal preference, but once again, I'm not going to bring my shadow on my lower lash line all the way into my inner corner. If you want to, you can do so, but with me, with my face, with my eyes, it's going to bring them in closer and it's the more product you put on the bottom it's going to drag them down as well so it's going to kind of give this type of impression so that's something i personally want to avoid okay, just getting that on there making sure that the shadow on the lower lash line meets with the shadow in the corner of my eye and now i'm going to be taking my same sigma e30 pencil brush and using this color by MAC called Mythology. It's a pretty pinkish copper color and it's more of a glittery color. And I'm gonna get that on my pencil brush and I'm going to go to the lower lash line, go over the other, the antiqued color that I used. So you can see that really helps give it the smoked out effect. So now that I have that on my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with my Sigma E25 with a little additional cork on it. And once again, go back to blending in the crease and blend a little bit further upward. And the reason I'm doing this is because I stopped for a second to look at my makeup and see what it looked like and see what I wanted to do, what I wanted to change about it, which is totally fine. And I realized that I want it to go, I want it to be more blown out, more smoky. So I'm just gonna add a little tiny additional product. I'm just basically just gonna dip it like that much and just add a little bit more. Okay, now that I have my darker colors on, I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone and my inner eye area. And for that, I'm going to be using MAC Shroom. This is a beautiful shimmery white vanilla type shade. And I'm going to be using a brush that came with my Naked 3 palette. It's just a large fluffy blending brush. Once I get a little bit of that product on there, I'm just going to go right up to my brow bone and get that in really close to my eyebrow. And what this does is give the impression that your eyebrows are lifted. I'm going to do the other eye. Now I'm going to do the inner corner. This really gives a well-rested, wide-awake look. Really helps to get your eye colors to pop. Okay, so now that I have my eyeshadow all done, I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner and mascara, and I will be right back with you. So this is the finished look. I've gone in and put on my liquid eyeliner cat eye, and I've tight-lined my lower lash line 
right down here with the jumbo eye pencil and hit my lower waterline as well to give that a more smoked out effect and I went and put on my mascara as well but I decided not to put on fake lashes for this look because I know a lot of people that are wanting to try a smoky eye but they're still too intimidated to try fake lashes so I wanted to show that you can do this look and have it still look just as pretty without having to put fake lashes on. So here's a close up. So thank you guys so much for watching. This video was a lot of fun for me to make. If you have any other requests for videos, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below and I will try my best to get to that. If you have any other questions, um, any of the products that I use today is gonna be, they are all gonna be listed in the description bar below. So go ahead and check that out. If you don't find the answer you're looking for, feel free to leave it in the comment box and I will make sure to answer your questions. And I will also make sure to put a link to my liquid eyeliner tutorial as well as my February favorites videos down below. And if you like this video, if you found it informative and helpful, then don't forget to click like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Chai on. Video, go ahead and click like and don't forget to. <sighs> Why am I saying that? <laughs> Story of my life, I had a freaking hair on me. Okay. So. <laughs>